Your email outlines the games each and every week, the games that you guys want to focus on, and you broke big on Hewitt Trustville at number five, Thompson. Uh, dude, how is this game not the game of the week? I mean, this is going to be an explosion of points. I mean, it might end up a 199 game. I don't understand how this isn't your game of the week. You know, hey, Jeremy, I'm going to start hitting you up every Monday, man. Are we going to be like, hey, you know, Jeremy, we cool with this list. But I will say this, you know, we sometimes we tend to go with the out-of-state games as more of the top-tier matchups. But, you know, this is a primetime matchup in the state of Alabama tonight. You got, you know, number five Thompson. So far this year through four games, they've outscored opponents 217 to three. And then you look at Hewitt Trustville. You know, this is a team that's 4-0 also, and they've won every game by at least 21 points. So I, I think, obviously, there's going to be some more points on the board for Thompson's opponent. But, you know, you just look at Thompson's defense. That defensive line, you got Peter Woods, a five-star from the class of 2023. You got Jeremiah Alexander, the, the leader on defense. He's a five-star Alabama commit from the class of 2022. And then you look in the secondary, you got Tony Mitchell, a five-star corner from the class of 2023. And then you got 2022 Miami commit Traquan Fagans on the other side. So it's hard for any offense to put points on the board. But then you look at Thompson's offense. They're throwing out Connor Harrell, a 2022 North Carolina commit. This dude's got that sauce and he's a big time playmaker with both his arm and his legs. He's got a bunch of wide receivers to get the rock to. But one dude I love who might be the most underrated wide receiver in the country, and that's Ryan Peppins. This dude usually gets his balls gets his ball in the hands, gets his hands on the ball, and then takes it to the house. But this is going to be a fun game, man. I, I think Hewitt Trussell is going to hang with Thompson early, but I, I expect the Warriors to pull away late and win by a few scores. Yeah, Thompson, a uh, little bit of disappointment last week. They actually allowed three points and didn't score over 50. So uh, what a game and what a team. Uh, that is going to be a good one tonight.